Thanks, Lynn Sue. I want to talk a little bit about remorse when it comes to Jody Arias. There's been so much talk across the country. People saying they never heard Jody Arias utter the words, I'm sorry. But can she change her image if she doesn't get the death penalty? Can she change her image? Can she somehow redeem herself? Last night, I asked her about redemption and if she can ever change this label that's been hung around her neck of being a murderer. Regardless of what happens with the jury, you're going to have to deal with the fact for the rest of your days, however long that is, that you killed someone. How hard is that going to be and how hard is it for you to deal with that? It's very, it makes me feel very ugly inside. And I know that that was just one day, but I feel like even though it shouldn't, it's going to define the rest of my life and maybe beyond. So it's, it's very difficult. It's, it's something that I haven't processed or I haven't really dealt with or it's something that's difficult to face even still. So it's something I'm going to be trying to process probably till my last day. Do you think the time will come when you can forgive yourself for what you did? I think I may get there. You've talked about spirituality a lot, um, and you've said you've prayed for the jury. Are you a religious person? I'm not deeply religious at this point. I still consider myself spiritual. Do you believe in heaven and hell? Yes. And if you do believe in heaven and hell, where do you think you're going and and can you deal with if you think you're going to hell can you deal with that or do you not think you would be going there i don't know if i believe in hell in the traditional sense that a lot of people do um i do believe that i believe in forgiveness and i believe in mercy and i believe in second chances um i do believe that going to heaven or the opposite of what hell would be is something that needs to be earned. Um, Can you then, in your final days on this earth, earn that, do you think? Do you believe in, in redemption? Well, when I say earned, I should probably clarify. I think that grace comes in. And um, it's there's no way that I could possibly make up entirely for what I've done. So I can, all I can do is do what I can. And the idea is that grace fulfills the rest, makes up for the rest. Do you think when we're talking about forgiveness that Travis's family will ever forgive you? Um, it's hard to imagine that they would. I hope that they're able to someday. Um, I don't know what their religious beliefs are, but I know that Christian-based faiths and the Mormon faith, which Travis was Mormon, I'm baptized Mormon, they, um, it's required that we forgive in order to be forgiven. So I also read once um, a church authority had said that sometimes when you're so angry you're not able to forgive that it's enough to ask for the grace to be able to one day forgive even if you can't get there i don't even know if they're at that point i f i wouldn't expect them to be part of my interview last night with jody arias talking about redemption and remorse and her hopes that one day travis alexander's family can find a way to forgive her they certainly haven't done it yet they want justice here at this courthouse